News 18, weather from where you live. Very, very strong storm. There's the center, and the storm is so strong, it's actually taken warm air from over here and wrapped it entirely around the center. We dropped to 32 in West Lafayette, then went up 3 degrees in an hour, then dropped back down to 32 as this little ribbon of warmth wrapped entirely around it. That's how fast the spin is and how strong the storm system is, and we're seeing that tonight at Fords Rochester, where actually we've had some rain mixing with a little wet snow here over the past hour. Now, if we go to precision right now, you can see, though, there's a lot of snow shower action. Actually, we'll go to that here in just a second. We'll go through our current temperatures first. You can see where the colder air is. Attica, Crawfordsville, near 30, 32 Lafayette, 29 Covington. But notice Rochester, where the warm air is wrapping in, it's 35 degrees. But we're back down to 32 at Frankfurt. And we've got these really strong wind gusts. These are the peak gusts we've had today and tonight so far. 51 Frankfurt, peak gust of 49 at Lafayette, and 48 Burlington, a peak gust of 50 so far at Attica. And visibility kind of gives you a measure of where the heavier snow is falling. Clinton County Airport under a mile, three mile visibility at the Purdue Airport, and it's a mile at the Cass County Airport and Grissom Air Reserve Base. Now there's precision. I got ahead of myself. There's all the snow showers kind of working their way in from the northwest. Darker blue, that's heavier snow. But again, it's kind of in the heart of the viewing area where we haven't had as much. Only a tenth of an inch, inch of accumulation on the snowboard here at the TV station. And the heavier snowfall amounts have been in our southern counties. And that's where the heavier snow is falling from Frankfurt down towards Crawfordsville. A little bit more here in Lafayette and West Lafayette. Pretty good snow falling here, Kokomo to Galveston and Logansport. And we're getting a little rain mixing in with a little snow here at Rochester with that tongue of warmer air coming in. And it's snowing in Rensselaer as well as Monticello. And boy, it's a wind driven snow everywhere. Snowfall totals so far in the viewing area. Again, down here towards Crawfordsville, Lebanon, Frankfurt, Galveston, and Kokomo, 0 0.7, 0 0.8 inches. Getting fairly close to an inch, tenth of an inch here at the station, around a third of an inch over towards Attica. You head northward, starting to add up a little bit. We've had up to a half an inch here in Newton County and a, about two tenths of an inch here in Cass and Miami counties. But there's more snow where that came from as more snow kind of wraps in. And I think the heavier totals will be in our north and our northeast by tomorrow, where we'll get some lake enhancement. We'll talk more about that here in a few minutes. But in the meantime, peak gusts tonight. I still think we could have some gusts as high as 52 miles an hour in Lafayette and 57 at uh, Morocco, 50 at Burlington, 52 at Monticello. As the peak in the wind arrives overnight, past midnight to about 2 a.m., wind gusts 51, 52 miles an hour on average, and still gusting to 46 early tomorrow morning. And with lows dropping well down into the 20s tonight, you got it. Those wind chills dropping as low as minus 2 by 6 a.m. And highs tomorrow, even with snow showers gradually tapering and a little sun appearing, still going to run 20s area-wide. There's the snow band still snowing as we get into the night. Snow lingering into early tomorrow morning. Then it gradually starts to pull away. But we still may have a few lake effect snow showers affecting our northeast counties here tomorrow afternoon. Otherwise, we'll be on a clearing trend. And boy, after this storm, it looks fine right past Christmas. It'll be the day after Christmas we'll have to watch for another impending storm. Again, snowfall totals, no big changes here. Near an inch, Fowler, Lafayette, Brookston, uh, over towards Delphi, Burlington, Kokomo, Crawfordsville, all the way down to Petersburg. One to three as you head farther north. I think the two and three inch amounts will be up towards Rochester, north of Winnemac. Fine for Christmas, but ice and snow may affect us the day after Christmas. Seven day forecast, snow showers gradually coming to an end tomorrow, but then it's dry and cold uh, right through Christmas, followed by uh, the day after Christmas. It may start to get a little dicey around here. We've got to keep an eye on that storm. That's a strong storm. may have ice and snow with it. I tell you, it just seems like this is what everyone's talking about, and we could hear this wind out there. Oh, it is roaring. It's gusts. dangerous. Yeah, gusts over really? 50 continuing overnight. It wow. is, absolutely. Well, yeah. well, there's kind of not.